So anyway guys, just make sure that you can always go and record yourself daily and just go and speak out as much as you can so you can live life better. I was just asking for Jesus Christ to come with me to ask me something, in terms of to ask Jesus Christ something. And I'm always asking Jesus Christ, but I'm saying to Jesus Christ how I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky to have this life. I'm so lucky to be able to speak for the next 72 years on audio programs. And also I'm a music producer and a singer and an actor and comedy individual. And I can practice all my comedies in audio format. And I can practice all my singing here as well. I can practice all my rhyming and rapping and everything. I have fucking audio to speak to you fucking for a lifetime. I can speak all these fucking words and talents into you. I mean, for fuck's sake, I have all these talent and abilities, man. I mean, it's fucking eternity, isn't it? I mean, it's the fucking life that you want. I mean, the more you can speak the words, the better you can feel. Rosh, that's what Jesus Christ is saying. Rosh, Jesus Christ is saying for you to understand Danny Milovoyevich over here and to speak in a way that you're learning every fiber of what you need every single day into audio is how you do it. I mean, Jesus Christ says that and that's how you go about it. You understand? But every single day you must understand that no matter what, you must go and grow yourself always to understand how you're actually producing. And Jesus Christ says, you must be producing always and you must be understanding all the time to be giving contents of every fiber of your being in terms of whatever you've been through in life to be able to experience that nice and beautiful melody of your life every single day and understand that there is eternity and they're always understanding straight away that Jesus Christ is real and that everything is real for your life because Jesus Christ says so. And Jesus Christ says that you must understand straight away how to go and dwell upon your life in a way that you're experiencing your life in a way that you're fluent with your words and you're making sure that you're learning very quickly upon the art of persuasion and making sure that you're lifting yourself in different ways every single day to make sure that you're inspiring people all the time through audio and video and writing and also through images and making sure that you're going around the world helping people just like Jesus Christ is. That's what Jesus Christ is saying. So if you understand straight away to always be focusing on your life to succeed every single day is the way of Jesus Christ. And that's what Jesus Christ is. So make sure you understand that you always have to help people like this. And God can speak through you and God can tell you the words to speak as well. And then you just speak the words, man. You understand? So that's how you do it. I can tell you straight away that when I see different people and how they speak about words and how people are speaking words today, I can tell you straight away who's smarter than who in terms of words that they speak. So I'm saying straight away, when you talk to me, I can see straight away who's the smartest among you because of the word you speak. I mean, you understand? And straight away, I understand that no matter what I do, that as I grow, I can say straight away that Donald Trump is much more smarter than Biden. I can just see it. I can see it in the words, man. I mean, you must understand. So every single day, then no matter what, if you want to go and really, really grow yourself, then you have to go and understand people and how they talk. And that way you're understanding how to be in front of them. Because the more you can speak, the better you speak and the more you can lead. And the more you can lead in front of people, the better you are in terms of everything you're doing. So make sure you can speak and lead much more than other people and that way you're greatness. I see this peppermint in terms of this nice and beautiful black peppercorn over here. I understand there's a little lid that you can put on. You can put on this lid and then you can go and be able to do this in terms of be able to go and find the pepper. And all it does is it goes into the nice and beautiful lid over here and then you open the lid and then you pour it on your nice and beautiful food. And it's a, such a smart idea. But then although you can also take off the lid altogether and then the actual peppercorn can actually fall on top of your actual food regardless without the lid. But with the lid, it actually stays in top of the nice and beautiful pepper in terms of the nice and beautiful top of the lid over here. And you can be able to get the pepper and pepper and pepper and pepper and you can be scrunching for the pepper, but then it's in the lid. And then you open the lid, and then guess what? And then all the pepper falls off into the nice and beautiful food that you're eating once you open the lid. But otherwise, you can always open that lid altogether and be able to place the pepper on your food right away if you want. So that's something nice and beautiful. I see Jesus Christ is asking me to go and help you to go and deliver all of the nice and beautiful information I have in daily life in different ways. So I can help you with life coaching and so I can do everything to help myself here. But I'm not saying that's how I actually grow myself and that's how I actually do life. I just want to update you guys about the currency reserve in terms of life. And what is a currency reserve? Or else anything that's a currency reserve is like the AUD or the USD or the yen or any kind of dollar or dinar or kuna or euro is a currency reserve. 
And now what they're saying is that the currency reserve is going away by the year 2036. I mean, you guys understand? So now it's 2021. So by the year 2036, which is 15 years away, is the time of, let's say, recommendation that the currencies are still around and all these currencies like the all in terms of like the AUD and Australian audio company in terms of the nice and beautiful euro and yen and all these kind of dinar and corner is all around still. But as soon as the 19, in terms of as soon as the 2036 goes away and starts becoming the 2037 and 2038, then guess what happens? The pressure from that point, we are going into the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market. And that's why from that point on, from 2036 is what they're saying and they're giving it a date. Or else from that point, that we have to go and change all into Bitcoin and cryptocurrency format. And there's no more, let's say, AUD going on and there's no more euros and all this in terms of, let's say, yen and the dinar and the dollar in terms of Australian dollar and American dollar and all of these nice and beautiful stuff. So you must understand either way that they're giving us 15 years to be on the currency reserve right now. So then from that point of after 2036, then we have to go and move into the cryptocurrency market. And from that point, we have to understand that kind of date. So just understand to be aware of that. And that's what I'm learning from George Gavin over here. To understand that no matter what, I'm getting this information so I can be ahead of the game. I just want to teach you guys very quickly that if you're <laughs> cooking pasta on the actual bowl or saucepan, then what you want to do is if it's sticky at the bottom, then make sure you understand that it's all black at the bottom. So make sure that you're never ever <clears throat> going and eating the actual black of the food. So make sure you never eat anything that's sticky at the saucepan at the bottom. I mean, make sure you're never eating that. So make sure you understand that anything that's black on your food from the saucepan, because from the frying pan, is something that's burnt food and never eat burnt food, please. Because burnt food is cancerous. And you can just see that. I mean, you can just see if you place toaster or toast in a toaster and it's all black, I mean, do you eat it? And of course you never eat it because it's all cancerous and toxic, yeah? I see guys, if people are acting up with their words <coughs> and if they're really, really talking more words to you to help you in terms of, let's say, adding up the words in terms of positivity and they're speaking positively to people, then they're honest about their status and what their expertise is. But if people are, let's say, never giving you much, or if they look shifty, or if they're holding back, I mean, you can see straight away. I mean, in a sense, so make sure I understand that anybody who never wants to talk to you more is somebody who's trying to take away from you. So make sure I understand that if you want to talk to people more, then you're very honest when you're talking to people more. But when you're holding back your communicational style from people, then stay away from those people who are doing that because you must understand. I'm always talking more to people. But those people who are never wanting to talk more to people are the ones who are serial killers. And they're the ones who are never following Jesus Christ. And they're the ones also who are in depression. And they're suicidal. And they're people with mental health issues and anti-social club. Because they never want to speak more words. And stay away from those people. Because you want to be around people who are adding up their words and talking more. And now the more words you talk, while the more other people never want to talk to you, that means you have more time for yourself. And that means you are doing a better life for yourself, regardless. I mean, in a sense, so make sure you understand every single time that you've got to focus upon adding up your words in a way that it's helping you move forward. And that way you're going and growing for yourself. And you're growing yourself always in different manners. And you're learning how to actually speak the words of courage for yourself in different ways. And you're learning how to actually understand how to talk for yourself in different ways much better. And that way you have all the success in the world because you're willing to give all the success in the world in words. Prashi, now what is all the success in the world? Prashi, it's words. Prashi, the word I is everything. I mean, the word I is words. Prashi, the word I is more than words. I mean, you must understand. So make sure you understand that if you're coming back to the word I, and you're focusing on making sure that you're learning very quickly upon how to talk to people, then on my day, on the 28th of May of year in Mounties, I'm just speaking English. I never care about the people who want me to speak Serbian on a day. I'm speaking English. So the whole point is making sure that no matter what, that as I go and grow myself differently, I'm making sure I have more than enough success all the time to go and deliver my success. So make sure you understand that people have to be adding up their words. And that way you have to understand that. If people are never adding up their words with you, it's because they're never talking with you. 
when they're never trying to talk to you. You understand? And why is that? Because they either try to live their life on their own, or they dislike you, or they just are people who are minding their own business, and that's it. I mean, it's either they're minding their own business, or they have no business, and they dislike you. I mean, it's one of them. You understand? So make sure you understand that no matter what, if you go and really understand every single day how to talk to people, then you can actually have more events around people, and then you can also be much more trustworthy around people. And then people are much more likely to trust you when you're talking to them more. Rosh, that's it, yeah? Rosh, now, if you're, Rosh, if you're talking to people more online, then people can see that. But people never realize the difference, though. Rosh, and then, uh, <coughs> Rosh, and then, Rosh, I see a massive difference. Rosh, I see a massive difference in reputation over here. As soon as you are uh, somebody in life who has a million dollars, I mean, how do they find out? I mean, they find out because you're making events around town. I mean, you're making events around town. I mean, you're traveling the world. I mean, you look excellent online. I mean, you're giving public speaking speeches everywhere and you're on video. And people can see that you're somebody who has a million followers or more. And that's all communicational words. And the more words you speak, the better for you. That's all you can do, yeah? But I'm understanding that no matter what, the other people's limits are never my limits. I'm having more followers than all of them. I have more followers than everybody else. Because I understand straight away that my music production shows me to never ever limit myself upon what other people in terms of my mentors have in followers. Because I see how much I grew up in my music and I grew my music so much beyond what other people are capable of in terms of their music production. So I'm understanding straight away that I just go look past their stuff and I go and overtake their nice and beautiful followers and I have more followers than that, always. I can get faster too. I can get all those followers faster than them. And how? Rosh, there's always a way. Rosh, there's a way to do it. You understand? And the way is through events and making events around people. So no matter what, advertising myself around buses as well. And making more events and advertising myself through buses the whole fucking next 72 years or more. I do it everywhere. Rosh, that's the only way, yeah? And go on TV everywhere. I mean, show up a fucking every single live TV show everywhere that you can. And that's it, man. I mean, make sure you're understanding to get hit. I mean, go and hit the fucking acting screens too. And go on fucking acting screens as well. And go and give them money to be on acting screens. And that way you're just enjoying yourself regardless of what you're doing. And you're showing the world the way. I mean, the way of words is the way. Rush, that's the way, yeah? Rush, the words are the way. Rush, nothing else except the words. Because that's how Jesus Christ does it. I almost forgot to actually speak to you again. But the thing is, as I pack up over here, I'm understanding that I'm so much more doing audio in front of you. I'm so much more doing audio around town now. That I'm focusing on a great way of life for myself in different ways. I'm loving I all the time. I'm making sure that no matter what, they have more enough content to deliver daily. And I'm just enjoying myself regardless of what's happening around the world. And people are hearing about me slowly. And they're hearing about me and saying, Nah, bro, he's looking excellent online. Bro, she's doing an excellent job online. Or she's doing something to help people, and that way you understand straight away how I love I. I'm understanding that no matter what, if my biological dad loves singing so much, and if you love singing so much, then you have to speak the words of singing so much. We have to talk words about singing fucking more and more. I mean, the more fucking words you can sing, the more of a singer you are. I'm sure it's that simple, yeah? I'm sure that's how. I'm sure that's how it is. But my biological dad, I see the fuck, I see the fucking range of words he's been doing around singing. Of over fucking 40 years of singing. <clears throat> and talking about music and talking about music and talking about singing and singing and singing. And that's his life. I mean, his life is a singer. But and right now, I'm probably starting to speak more singing words over here and there. <clears throat> but me, I'm fucking doing everything around words. I mean, what can you do around words today? I'm probably, I'm probably sure I'm doing it. I'm probably sure I'm doing it. I'm doing words today. I'm probably sure I'm doing anything that you can do in words. Probably sure that's the eternal life. But anything that's never words is never Jesus Christ. I promise you. I promise you anything that's never words is never Jesus Christ. I promise you. I'm I saying? I promise you anything that never follows Jesus Christ is never words. I promise, you, I promise you. It's the way of life. I mean, you must understand. I promise you. If you follow the words, I ask Jesus Christ to see this. I promise you. If you see the words of life and you follow the words, then you have Jesus Christ. But if you never follow the words, then you have nothing of Jesus Christ. I mean, you understand? But... If you follow the Ten Commandments of God, it's because you have the words to say. 
But if you never follow the Ten Commandments of God, it's because you have no words to speak. You understand? So those people who are never speaking words of Jesus Christ are never following Jesus Christ. And those people who are willing to speak Jesus Christ are willing to follow the Ten Commandments and are willing to talk more because anybody who kills people or anybody who's never following Jesus Christ has no words to say. Because they're dead already. Because they die straight away because they're never speaking words. But anything that's speaking words is Jesus Christ and follows Jesus Christ. So if you speak more words daily, then you can expect yourself to have Jesus Christ. You understand? But how, Danny? I mean, but how do I speak more words? I mean, what the fuck am I doing with you right now? I'm fucking speaking more words to you. I mean, go do the same thing. I mean, isn't that simple? Or it's so simple, yeah? I mean, just get your phone, get a voice memo, and fucking start speaking. I mean, it's so simple, yeah? And the more I fucking speak to you in words like this, the more I have fucking Jesus Christ in my life. I love Jesus Christ. I love everything. I mean, you understand? But the thing is, every single day, I understand it's all words, yeah? <clears throat> Prosha, this fucking audio program is much more valuable when I give it to you than never giving it to you. I mean, do you understand? So I'm doing something, but other people never fucking appreciate 16 minutes of audio content from Danny Milovoevich. Prosha, they never fucking care about that. Prosha, they say that Mama and Tata has that. Prosha, yeah? Prosha, never from Danny Milovoevich. Prosha, your Mama and your Baka and Dada and Tata and Mama and Sister and fucking Brother and everything never have Danny Milovoevich words, I promise you. Bro, should I never have Danny Milovoevich words? I mean, the only Danny Milovoevich words has Danny Milovoevich. I mean, do you understand? I mean, only I can give you these words. Straight from my fucking mouth. Bro, should nobody else can fucking give you that. Bro, should nobody else can fucking... Bro, should Jesus Christ can never give you Danny Milovoevich words. I mean, do you understand? I mean, only Danny Milovoevich can give you Danny Milovoevich words. I promise you, although Jesus Christ can do anything... But the thing is, that I'm speaking my words here. I mean, Jesus Christ never wants to speak for me. I understand? I have to speak for Jesus Christ. <clears throat> but the thing is, Jesus Christ is speaking for everybody. I mean, you understand? I'm sure Jesus Christ is speaking for everybody, but God wants you to speak your own words. I mean, is it Jesus Christ speaking for me now, or is it Danny Milovoevich? I'm sure Danny Milovoevich is speaking. <laughs> I'm sure Danny Milovoevich is speaking right now. I'm sure. you. I mean, Jesus Christ spoke his words already. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's different. But there's no other fucking Danny Milovoevich to give you these words. You know what I'm saying? Actually, only Danny Milovoevich can give you these words. Because Danny Milovoevich is speaking right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, there's only one Danny Milovoevich in this planet, I promise you. <laughs> I mean, do you understand? I mean, fucking, there's nobody else out there that can speak Danny Milovoevich's words. Actually, everybody can speak words, but you can speak your own words. I mean, you can speak your own words, but you can never speak for me. <laughs> Or you can never speak for Danny Milovoevich. I mean, you can speak for yourself if you want. Understand? But everybody has to speak for themselves daily. Russian Jesus Christ has to speak for Jesus Christ. I mean, nobody else can be Jesus Christ other than Jesus Christ. Understand? But guess what? I mean, everybody can be Jesus Christ too. But the thing is, that if you really want to understand Jesus Christ, then you have to understand how to follow Jesus Christ. And you have to understand that anybody can be anybody. But the thing is, how can you talk for Jesus Christ? <laughs> I mean, how can you talk for Jesus Christ? I mean, let's say you fucking have Jesus Christ in front of you. I mean, you're going to jump into his body to speak for his words. I mean, the only way to do that is to look at Jesus Christ here and say, I speak for you like this, without having to touch you. I mean, saying, but then Jesus Christ says, how are you really speaking to me? I have to say these words to you. I understand? I mean, how the fuck are you going to speak for Jesus Christ in life? I mean, the only way you can speak for Jesus Christ is that you have a good conversation with him, and that's it, yeah? I mean, be following what he's doing in his habits, is how you speak with Jesus Christ. I mean, understand, but other people want to murder other people, and they want to murder other people because they have no words to say to them, and they have no words of love. And I see today, I see straight away how many people are limiting themselves with words today, which they have no words to give, I promise you, they have no words to give you. I mean, they have a little bit of words, I promise you, they have a little bit of words, but they have no words other than Danny Milovoevich in terms of, they have nothing close to Danny Milovoevich in words, I promise you. I promise you, I'm giving you more words than they are. I promise you, if you look in the history of time, I mean, who's doing the most work on the planet? I promise you, who's gave you more words in this lifetime? I promise you, Danny Milovoevich has given you the most fucking words in this lifetime. I promise you. 
Russian Daniel Milovoyevich has given you fucking more words than Jesus Christ. I promise you, I've given you fucking more words than Jesus Christ. I've also given you a story just like Jesus Christ. But it's a different story. I mean, understand? I promise you, I've given you more words than Jesus Christ. But Jesus Christ gave you the Ten Commandments. I promise you, that yes, I, I promise you. Jesus Christ gave you Jesus Christ's story. I promise you, that's yes. I promise you, I promise you, Jesus Christ gave you eternity. I promise you, that yes. I promise you, that yes. I promise you, Jesus Christ gave you God in the Bible. I promise you, yeah. I promise you, definitely. I understand? But make sure you understand that what I give you is the words that I say. I make different rules as well. I make different rules, but I still follow Jesus Christ's rules. I make different rules. I mean, Jesus Christ never gave you the one hour rule over here, which is Daniel Milovoyevich, where Daniel Milovoyevich says, Daniel Milovoyevich stays indoors for 23 hours and fucking walks outdoors for one hour a day. I mean, where in the Bible does it say that? I mean, it never says in the Bible to stay indoors one hour and go, I mean, it never says in the Bible of Jesus Christ to stay indoors for 23 hours. And walk one hour to the store just to get something to eat and come back to your accommodation. Russia never says that in the Bible, I promise you. Russia, that's Daniel Milovoyevich. <laughs> Russia, Daniel Milovoyevich told you that. I mean, Jesus Christ said, although, never cut the word I out. <clears throat> Russia, I understand that straight away. I can, I can pass this shit to you. I mean, understand? But Jesus Christ shows the world through the Ten Commandments of God. And then humanity has faith in Jesus Christ. And that's why we're all together, aren't we? Or should everything's words together. But you have to understand that everything has to speak for their words. And everybody has to speak for themselves. And that's how it is, yeah? I promise you, when I teach you my time management techniques, I promise you, I'm the only one who's fucking told you today about Netflix and how you can watch images faster. I told you that. I promise you, Jesus Christ never told you that. I promise you, I mean, do you understand? I'm the one who shows you how to fucking go through Netflix really quickly. I, I told you that. But Jesus Christ tells you everything anyway. I promise you, Jesus Christ told you everything that you can. I mean, God gave you everything in the words. You understand? But if you really want to label the passages of different words and different structures, then everybody's unique. And everybody can give you different words of different advice and different systems. I mean, there's all different systems, but follow Jesus Christ's system as well. I mean, without, I mean, without Jesus Christ's backbone system in your business, then you fucking have no business, man. I understand? So, if you want to go and grow yourself daily, you have to learn to speak those words. I hear Jesus Christ saying, I appreciate you. I thank you. I thank you. I mean, you must understand, you have to grow yourself. I mean, you have to appreciate people, yeah? So, I'm happier. I'm understanding that no matter what, I'm learning very quickly upon how to enjoy myself. And you must understand that what's important right now for myself is learning the words, yeah? I'm learning to teach people words, and that's it. I mean, how fucking easy is it to speak words today? How is it? I mean, how easy is it for you to speak words? So, I mean, so why don't you speak words all day long into an audio program, twenty four seven, and seven days a week, and every fucking second of the day, or every fucking one second of the day? Why aren't you fucking getting your phone to speak into the fucking camera, and to speak into an audio? I mean, why? I mean, what the fuck is your excuse in life? I mean, understand? <clears throat> I mean, have no fucking excuses and start doing what Daniel Milovich is doing. Because I'm the only one fucking doing it. And that's it. I'm the only one fucking today doing it. I have a nice and beautiful room here. I see how I can actually do this, man. I mean, you guys have to understand how I go and do great over here. I asked Jesus Christ to see this over here. Alright, this is amazing where I can go and see how this... <laughs> I'm rich over here. I'm rich because I have a nice and beautiful setup over here. Or a nice and beautiful vibrational remark over here. But I'm not saying that over there in Jerusalem and Israel over there, Russia, they're having a tough time of Russia. I can see it. I can see over there it's catastrophe. I mean, I understand that. I mean, over there it's fucking really, really, let's say, gone in terms of everything over there. So I'm really, really privileging myself over here because I have a new image over here. I see my image of life and I see their image over there in Gaza and Israel. But should their image is fucking nothing close to my image. I mean, saying, I mean, how do I see those images? I see a difference between the images. I mean, over there it's fucking bombing and fucking rockets everywhere. And fucking also fucking these flats are fucking falling and everything. I mean, that's the fucking image over there. But over here is my image of Busby and Liverpool. It's fucking nice area and beautiful over here. 
I mean, Asenso, obviously, they're fucking doing worse off over there. I mean, Senso, that's how it is, yeah? But make sure you understand that no matter what, that our kingdom come in the nice and beautiful eternity. I promise you, everybody has eternity. I mean, understand? So you must understand to learn to speak more words now. I understand how fucking upset I get. I get, so, I get, I get so upset sometimes. <clears throat> and why do I get upset? Because I had no word I. I had no fucking words to say. And that's why. I was getting fucking upset because I was speaking to nobody, man. I had no fucking words to say to anybody. And that's why I was fucking so upset. I asked Jesus Christ to see this. I, ha I was so upset because I had no fucking words to say. I was fucking lonely. I was trying to call people to talk to them, but they didn't want to talk to me. I fucking write to them, and but they never want to fucking write back to me. I was fucking confusing myself on life, and I didn't know where I was in terms of my words. I was, I never knew where I was in my life, and then nobody wants to fucking talk to me, and that's what fucking was depressing me, man. I mean, that was fucking depressing me, and I was looking for other people to talk to me. I mean, for fuck's sake. And then I met my social so I met my social media over here, and I made I met my social worker as well, and she fucking did help me with those words to speak out. I mean, she was there for me when I was calling her. You know I'm saying, but the thing is, that fucking did help me. I mean, that did help me, and I was fucking looking for other people to talk to me, and they were never there for me. I promise you. But she was there for me, and then they're never there for me again. I mean, and then I fucking looked toward Danny Milovoyevic, and I said, why do I fucking need them for? I mean, why do I need them to fucking speak words? I, st I, st I did fucking start over here. I start fucking speaking words to you in my fucking house over here. And I was fucking unhealthy to some degree. But I fucking start the words of whatever it is. And I fucking start journaling here and there. And I'm fucking talking more and talking more and talking more. And then fucking I start to realize I'm getting smarter. I'm getting smarter. I'm getting smarter and smarter. And then fucking here I am now fucking talking audio all fucking day long. I'm talking to somebody now. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you now. I never fucking need those people anymore to talk to. I just fucking talk to you. I'm always on the phone to somebody now. I'm always talking to somebody. And you came to me. I mean, you guys came to me. But before, I was fucking trying to I was trying to chase them to talk to them. And that was a fucking failure. Well, that's the biggest failure when you're trying to talk to other people. But they're never there for you. But they reply 50 hours later. Or should I reply one month later? Or that's the slowest communication I've ever seen in my life. I mean, you understand that? I mean, Jesus Christ is always talking to you, though. I understand? I mean, look at how much Jesus Christ is talking to you. I mean, is the Bible talking to you today? I mean, is the story of Jesus Christ talking to you today? I promise she's talking to you. Or the story of Jesus Christ is talking to you today. I mean, is the story of Danny Milovoyevich talking to you today? I promise you always. I mean, what does that mean? I mean, it means that you need somebody to talk to. And it means that you need to talk to yourself all day long. I mean, who's Danny Milovoyevich talking to now? Prosh, Danny Milovoyevich is talking to Danny Milovoyevich right now. Prosh, there's nothing else, and there's nobody fucking around me. I mean, there's nobody fucking else around me except I. <clears throat> I mean, you understand? I mean, the fucking worst decision of my life was fucking going to other people to talk to them. I mean, never fucking seek other people to talk to them. In the first place. I mean, never fucking seek them to talk to them. Because they reply one month later. I mean, that's a big block in communication. I mean, it's a big block there. I mean, by the time they fucking write to you, man. I mean, one month of your life is gone. I mean, stop waiting for them to talk to you. I mean, go and fucking get your voice program like Danny Milovoyevich is doing now. And start fucking talking to somebody. On that voice program. Because I promise you, somebody's listening. And somebody's listening to this too. Because I'm fucking talking to someone. I mean, someone's fucking watching me one million years from now. I mean, I mean, it's the fucking year 2021. I'm fucking talking to someone at least. I'm talking to someone. I mean, someone's fucking listening to me. I mean, someone's fucking listening to me right now from 10 million years from now, man. I mean, in the fucking year 10 million and 21, I promise you, you can find Danny Milovoyevich. I promise you. I mean, I promise you, someone is listening to me in those times. I mean, 10 million years from now, or 10 million years from your time, I promise you, in the future. Somebody is listening to you if you just fucking talk like Danny Milovoyevich now in the way of words in your own way and you just fucking make your own audio programs and then guess what? I mean, somebody's fucking listening to you 10 million years from your point of view. You understand? I'm not sure. And that's why I never fucking have to wait for people anymore. 
I never fucking have to wait for them. Approach, they never value me when I say I love you online. I like you. I like I like how you look like. Approach, they never fucking reply to me. I wrote her a fucking message that I fucking like the way she looks. Approach, she should give no fuck about that. I mean, she never cared that I said that. I said, I like the way you look. I mean, she fucking never want to reply to me. I mean, for fuck's sake. I write to other people and they don't want to reply to me, man. And they don't want to talk to me. <clears throat> I mean, is that rejection? I feel no fucking rejection anymore. I know I fucking need you to reply to me. I send you a fucking Christmas gift and there you fucking go and fuck off. I never fucking need you anymore. I send you a fucking other present and fuck off. I never need your words anymore. I mean, you want to fucking block me? I mean, go and fucking block me. I never fucking need to send you another fucking gift ever again. I mean, for fuck's sake. I mean, get the fuck out of my life. I mean, do you want a fucking gift from me or not? I'll give you a fucking gift all fucking day long. But if you fucking block me, then I'll never fucking send you a gift ever again. I mean, I never fucking need your words either. <laughs> I never fucking need your words. I never fucking need you. I realize now, I realize how much empathy I have now comparing it from before. And there's a big difference. I mean, the massive difference of 10 years of life, there's a big difference in my life. First, there's a big difference in my life. I understand that after every number comes the first I first. <clears throat> I, mean, I mean, after every single number that you fucking place in life, make sure you go I first. And make sure you go off. I mean, make sure you go I first after that number. I mean, if you say ten, I say it's number ten. You understand? Because that's how I say it now. I mean, you guys have to speak more and you have to do more. I promise you, they reject you. I promise you, no matter fucking how much you talk to them, and no much, I mean, I promise you, no matter how much you want to fucking talk to them, I promise you, they never value you. I promise you, they never fucking value your words, man. I promise you, they fucking believe there's something better than you, man. I mean, they fucking believe they're better than you. I mean, guess what? I mean, forget them. And never talk to them. I mean, if you want to send some positive encouragement, but just never expect them to give you words. I mean, never expect them to write back to you. I mean, never expect them to reply to you. I mean, never expect them to do anything for you. I mean, the least amount of things that they can do for you is give you words. It's the most difficult for people to give you words. But for me, it's the most easiest way. To live life. Prashi, for them it's so hard to give you some words. Prashi, to give you some words. Prashi, they find life difficult to give you some words. Ask Jesus Christ to see this. you can see humanity and how much fucking difficulty they have to speak words to you. Prashi, they have so much difficulty in life to speak words to you. I mean, you understand? I mean, everything is evolving. But I'm fucking ahead of the fucking evolution over here. I'm ahead of them. Totally, I'm in fucking some time gone, man. I'm in some tough, I'm in some fucking time gone, in some teleportal fucking dimension over here, man. I'm fucking gone all the way through space, man. I'm like Albert Einstein, and I'm just gone somewhere in fucking fantasy land with my fucking words, man, in a different way. I mean, saying I fucking went the fucking spaceship over there, fucking see teleported Pluto over there, man. I see fucking Pluto. I see fucking another chain fucking gang over there, man. I see everything, man. I mean, you said I fucking see this massive waterfall in space over there, man. I mean, do you see those waterfalls? You see the jungle of Amazon over here. I see that jungle. I see Amazon jungle in the fucking space behind Pluto over there, man. I've, I've gone that way. <laughs> I mean, how do I get there? I get there through words, man. I mean, say I fucking. I mean, Albert Einstein says the power of imagination is the most powerful compound force that you can ever have in life. I understand? But it's more like you have to understand that no matter what, the compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe, as Albert Einstein says. But that he means that the words that you say every single day compounds into the most powerful force that you can have. So the more fucking words you say every single day, the more you're compounding your success. Do you understand? Rush you. Rush you. If you speak more words, I mean, never rely on other people to speak your words. For you, I've learned that quickly. I've, I've learned the way of words. Russia, if, if, Russia, if you want to remember Daniel Milovoyevich, Russia, if you want to, Russia, if you want to remember Daniel Milovoyevich, then remember Daniel Milovoyevich as the way of words. Russia, the way of words. Russia, the words are the way. 
Which if you can speak those words, and if you understand how to speak those words, and you understand how to get the vocabulary, and then fucking link it together, and speak in front of people, or it's the best way. And fucking speak all that audio content into fucking people like I do now. I mean, you can fucking do whatever you want. I create one fucking audio book of 12 hours per day and more. I create one fucking audio book of 12 hours and more per day. I mean, you understand? I never rely on other people to talk to me. I never fucking need them. I probably have no words to give me. I probably have nothing to give me. I probably have them never messaging you words today. I probably they have nothing to give you. I'm always fucking messaging them. I'm always messaging them because they're so fucking boring in life. I promise you, they're so fucking boring. I promise they fucking have no life. I promise they got have fucking nothing. I promise they have nothing in terms of words. I promise you, to give you at least. I promise they have nothing to give you. I promise they have no fucking life to give you. I promise they have no fucking happiness to even fucking send your message, man. I mean, guess what? I mean, fucking give them something. I mean, make them fucking happier with your words. I mean, make them fucking happier. Because they have no fucking life to give you. Or they have no fucking words, I promise you. Or they're never messaging you on Facebook or Instagram today, yeah? Or they're never fucking messaging you on social media, I promise you. Or they have no fucking words to give you. Or they have no fucking presence in words. Or they're fucking miserable, I promise you. Or they're living the fucking most shit lifestyle, I promise you. Or they have less than a million dollars in a bank account as well, I promise you. And the whole point is understanding that no matter what, that you never rely on other people to talk with you. I mean, go and fucking talk to yourself all day long. I, I found the best kind of interest in Daniel Milivojevic in the word I, I promise you. I promise you. I found the best interest first in Jesus Christ information. And that fucking led me to have everything, I promise you. I promise you. Because I, I, I realized I asked Jesus Christ to see this. I promise you. Because I went to fucking Jesus Christ information and I fucking studied that Bible and studied the information there. I promise you, I found my word I in that information. I promise you, I fucking found my word I. I fucking promise you. And I, 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 went, I promise you, Jesus Christ led me straight to the fucking information over here, which said, never cut the word I out. I promise you, and that fucking led me straight into the word I. I promise you. I promise you, it's powerful, man. I promise you, it's so powerful, I can see it, man. I mean, that's testimony, man. I mean, if you fucking just go straight into the fucking Bible of Jesus Christ, and you fucking learn that information, Roshi, then you fucking know who you are. <laughs> Roshi, that means information is the way. Roshi, information is the way. So, how do you speak information? I mean, go and learn how to do that. I mean, speaking information is through words. And if you can speak the words of information, then that is the way. Because Jesus Christ said, I am the way. I am the light. I am the bread of life. I mean, what's he speaking? I mean, he's speaking information, yeah? I mean, information is what the words are. I mean, that's fucking eternal life right there. I mean, if you fucking understand how to go to the fucking words and go to the fucking information and dig into the fucking information, like Zig Ziglar says, I asked Zig Ziglar, I asked Jesus Christ to send Zig Ziglar to me now. I promise you, Zig Ziglar fucking has a speech that you have to go and see. And you have to understand that he, he speaks. You have to fucking dig a well and you have to fucking keep digging for the water. And you fucking keep digging and digging and digging and for fucking 20 years you may find nothing. But then you fucking keep digging and digging and digging for another hundred years and you may find fucking nothing there. But then you fucking go and dig and dig and dig and dig and you fucking hit fucking the soil and you fucking sprout some fucking water for the first time. And you fucking say, hey, we have to keep digging much more to get some more water. And fucking you keep digging and digging and digging and you fucking find the treasure. I mean, you find all the water, man. I mean, where, I mean, where the fuck is the water? I mean, what kind of parable is this? I mean, what Zig what Ziggler is telling you is if you fucking keep digging for that information... And you keep fucking digging for the information, eventually you fucking struck all the water. And you fucking have all this fucking beautiful eternal life, man. And in the fucking information, I promise you. Promise you that fucking information that Zig Ziglar is talking about is Jesus Christ's Bible, man. I promise you. Promise you fucking keep digging and digging into the Bible and fucking keep digging the soil and keep fucking digging that goodness or fucking richness of the words there. And fucking keep digging and digging and digging it. I promise you, eventually you fucking find the word I. I promise you. I, I found the word I for that fucking information. I mean, Sam? I mean, that's everything, man. I promise you. I promise you. It's just that, yeah? But that's the fucking kind of thing. But also, Thomas Edison fucking helps me a lot. I asked Jesus Christ to send Thomas Edison to me. <laughs> I promise you. He fucking says to people, this is what you never do with the light bulb. <laughs> I fucking say, hey, 
I mean, why not go throughout life as well saying this is what I never do. This is what I never do as well. I never do this and I never do this. <laughs> and I fucking took, I went and I stole Thomas Edison's idea. <laughs> I, I stole his idea. I use it. I say, I say never again do I eat meat. I stay away from meat. I say never again do I go to Subway. I say never again do I go to McDonald's. I say never again do I go to KFC. I say never again do I go to Kansas City in Australia. I mean, that's the same thing as Thomas Edison light bulb theory, which is 1,000 ways on never to do the light bulb. But this is fucking Danny Milovoyevich theory of 1 million ways never to do life. I mean, understand? So that's the kind of fucking path that you have to go in. And you have to go in the fucking path of 10 million fucking aspects of life to never do. And that way you find success, I promise you. Whereas if you understand that, then you understand what you never do. And that's why I'm understanding Thomas Edison's idea fucking led me, I promise you. I went, I went, I, I went, I, I, I was using, I, I fucking use, I use Zig Ziglar's fucking notion here to dig in for the gold. And I dig in for the gold, but that fucking gold that I dig in for is. Thomas Edison idea about the fucking I mean about the fucking light bulb, and that's the fucking glory hole right there, man. I fucking said I dug into it. I said fucking dug into it and dug into that fucking one sentence, man. I mean from that fucking one sentence, I found what you never do in life. I mean, and I understand fucking Grant Cardone links me information here and says it's never about what you fucking do in life. It's about what you never do as well. I said for fuck's sake, I connect these information together and I say hey. How about when I go throughout life and I say, how about I fucking go and specifically look for what I never must do in life? <laughs> I must never do this. I must never. I'm, I'm looking specifically every fucking day for what to never do. And that way I fucking have disciplines and have disciplines and have disciplines. I say I fucking stay away from the Serbian people of Australia. I realize when I fucking say it, I stay away from 80,000 of them. I never want to fucking be around them. I mean, you understand? Or is that's just one sentence? I stay away from Serbian people of Australia. I mean, that's 80,000 places in Australia. I fucking never go there. I mean, understand? <laughs> I ask Jesus Christ to see this. I stay away from Serbian people of Australia. I promise that's 80,000 places in Australia already. <laughs> I promise that's already 80,000 places I stay away from. <laughs> I never go there. <laughs> I never go to those people. I mean, understand? But that's how it is. I promise you, as soon as you say, I stay away from Serbian people of Australia, then you have found already... 80,000 places to never go in Australia. I understand? So that's the kind of thing I'm saying. So if you understand straight away that you go and dig for information and then you have success. I mean, I'm digging information right here with you. I mean, do you have, I mean, do you have the spark of interest over here? Because this is all information. And there's nothing else in life. Russia. There's nothing else to dig into except for information. I promise you, as I'm speaking to you, I can dig into all this information and talk about it. And that's the most interest I can have. Which that's the most glory I can have, which is to talk to you the information I have. And when I really, really understand how to speak to you that information, then that's even better. And when I understand how to speak it to people in front of people, then that's even better. And then when I understand how to make money from that, then that's even better. And then when I can go around the world and fly a jet and have all this real estate with that, then that's even better. And then I have... Jesus Christ and eternity with that information too, and that's even better. <laughs> understand? So that's the thing, yeah. I mean, with information, you can fucking dig into it, and you and realize you can fucking dig into information. You can fucking craft it, and you can craft it in fucking different ways. And you can make a hexagon, and you can fucking make a triangle, and you can fucking make a circle. I mean, you can fucking make any fucking aerobics cube or whatever you want with fucking information, and you can give it to people as a fucking free gift of courage. As a free gift, I mean, as a free gift of treasure or whatever you want in gold coins or whatever it is, that fucking information that if you just go and find yourself curious about that information daily and you fucking talk it and talk and talk and talk it and just fucking keep talking that information, Rosh, that leads you to eternity with Jesus Christ, I promise you. Rosh, that's what I'm saying. That all this information that I've just said to you, I mean, combine it together and go and search for that information through your words and go and understand every single parable of the Bible and everything of information that you can and just go and fucking study and study and study that information and study the information and then you become Albert Einstein and then you become Tesla in terms of Nikola Tesla and then you become fucking Jesus Christ too I mean saying then you have everything you ever want I understand it's just words guys I mean it's just words I mean never be 
doing anything other than words. I mean, stick to the words of life. I mean, I, for some reason, get so fucking, let's say, afraid of myself because of the words. And the words are something that makes me afraid. But the words is something that's eternal life. And it's just how I have to grow for that information. And I fucking have these tendencies to say about somebody fucking killing somebody in my house. I mean, understand? And, and then the fucking word I comes in that. And I never meant to say that. I never fucking meant to say that. I mean, understand? But for some reason, fucking, some fucking negativity comes in my house and says, I'm going to kill somebody. I'm never going to kill somebody though. I told Jesus Christ, I'm never killing somebody. <laughs> but for some reason, I fucking said it the first time. I mean, I said, I mean, I said fucking, I'm going to kill somebody. I'm never going to kill somebody. I mean, for fuck's sake, I never want to kill somebody. But the thing is, that it fucking comes out, I mean, it comes out on me for some reason. For fuck's sake. And these fucking words, I'm going to come and kill somebody, comes out of my fucking words. But I'm never killing anybody. I mean, understand? I mean, for some reason, it fucking, it's like something speaking out of me, fucking these negativity words. I mean, understand? But I never fucking want to do that. I mean, understand? I mean, it's much more how I fucking find myself in the peace of life with words. And as I talk words, I have this nice and beautiful notion here to understand that I have Jesus Christ in the words. I have eternal life in the words. I have everything of spirits in the words. I have everything I ever want in the words. I promise the words of life, man. I love them. I promise you nothing else. I promise you if I just stick in the words, I promise you it's gold, man. I promise you it's everything. I promise you it's everything. I promise you. And if you just stick to the words and you can craft that, I promise you words of God, man. And word, I mean words. Is the best kind of father or mother you can ever have, man. Russia words. Russia words creates the storms. And it creates the fucking weather. And it creates the fucking weather channel. And it creates that sexy lady that you look at. I promise you, it fucking creates everything, man. I mean, words create the waterfall and the fucking bug and the laggy bug. And Lion King and all this fucking stuff that you see in the imagination today. I promise you, words is why that is. I promise you, words are probably so powerful. I mean, when you can create the words, then you can create power rangers, and you can create whatever you want out of the words. I mean, you just speak into life, and that's it, yeah? Rosh God came here, and he says, Hey, I want the sun over there. I mean, the fucking sun comes out. I mean, I want a fucking moon over there. <laughs> I mean, a fucking moon, I mean, I mean, a fucking moon comes over there. I want fucking day and night in this place. I mean, saying fucking day and night comes. I mean, saying because how? I mean, fucking the words, man. I mean, the words. I mean, if you can speak the words of all that, that's what God is saying to you in that parable of the Bible, that God spoke all this, and it happens. I mean, I mean God spoke that the sun comes out, and the sun comes out. I mean, I mean, you understand? You have to believe that. I mean, you have to believe those words, that if you say something, that it happens. I promise you. I mean, I promise you, if you believe in that eternity, and you believe in that word structure, and you believe in the words right here, I promise you, it's amazing. I promise you, I'm holding like a I see Nikola Tesla's holding like this ball of fucking electronical stuff, man. And it's really, really the knowledge, man. That's knowledge, man. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking eternity, man. I promise you. I promise you, it's an image. I see an image of eternity. I mean, understand? I mean, it's fucking structure, man. I mean, it's something that you have to understand. And music, I mean, where does music come from? I mean, music comes from words. I mean, when you hear my music, I mean, you heard my words. I mean, that's all you heard. I spoke the words, I spoke that into fruition. I spoke it into life. I spoke the words of my music into life. Whereas if you hear my words, then you hear my music as well. I mean, my words here, is, Roshi, my words here are exactly the same as my music. Whereas it's equal. But being able to make the words to give you that, Roshi, that's everything, man. Roshi, what is this? Roshi, this is all words as well. Roshi, how do you make money? I mean, you make money through words. I love it. Rosh, if you understand it every single day how to delay gratification, it's through words. I mean, just understand to never allow yourself to go and gratify yourself. I love it. I mean, say I'm too good for that. I mean, say I see Will Smith says that he wants a pizza, man. I mean, Will Smith wants a pizza, but he says to himself, oh, I mean, I love you, man. I love you too much for you to have that pizza, man. I love you too much. I mean, say, so he stays away from the pizza. I mean, saying, but that's how you. I mean, that's how you have to look at life, man. I mean, I love myself so much that I never want to have drugs in my life, and that's what Will Smith is saying. I mean, saying so. If you're going and understanding life, 
and how people commit suicide, okay, it's because they stop speaking words in this lifetime. Rosh, that's it. Rosh, if you understand how to speak words, and you speak up more, and just speak more words, Rosh, there's no chance you can commit suicide. I mean, there's no chance you can commit suicide. But those people who may die from a heart attack earlier, or who may die from steroids, or they may die from a car accident, or may, or, I mean, they may die from cancer or disease, I promise you, it's because of words. I promise you, it's because of the words they spoke, and that's it. I mean, they spoke steroids, and that's why they went that way. I promise you, if you speak whatever it is, I promise you, so I promise you other people fucking race horses, and they fucking die on the pitch. I mean, the fucking horse falls, and the fucking jockey dies, and guess what happens? I mean, for fuck's sake, I mean, they spoke it. I never die. I mean, has it happened before? I promise you, yes. I promise you, I promise you definitely. I promise you, you must understand. For sure, everything happens that you say. I mean, if you speak something into life, then it happens. Otherwise, I promise you, whatever in terms of people who have, have I promise you, even Jesus Christ, for example, who, who, in terms of him, in terms of I see who, in terms of life, whoever, in terms of everything, I understand that no matter what, I understand Jesus Christ, for example, that he came here and he speaks the words. Otherwise, I promise you, he causes himself the assassination. Otherwise. God himself came here to kill himself. I mean, do you understand? But he dies for you. I mean, he dies for you because he never wants to kill himself, but other people kill him. But he understands the suicide mission. Or she understands that if God comes here in that time when Jesus Christ did come, I promise you, God sees already that Jesus Christ is going on the cross. I mean, Jesus Christ already understands the suicide mission. I promise you. I promise you, Jesus Christ can see that coming already. And he told you in the Bible. That the, he understands that. I mean, in a sense, so God came here to help you. I mean, God never came here to kill himself. I mean, Jesus Christ never came here to kill himself. I mean, Jesus Christ came here to help you. And he shows you that by having other people kill him. <laughs> I mean, other people kill him. I love I. But actually, Jesus Christ never kills Jesus Christ. But in a way, also, Jesus Christ kills Jesus Christ for coming here as well. I mean, understand? So it's contradictory, yeah? I mean, Jesus Christ never did kill Jesus Christ, but Jesus Christ did kill Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ came to earth. I mean, understand? Russia it's contradictory, so that's Osho right there. <laughs> I mean, understand? Russia Osho understands that. I mean, that's the most funniest thing, man. <laughs> I mean, understand? I mean, the contradiction of life is different. I mean, understand? I mean, if you can understand how we really, really enjoy yourself in the power of contradiction and you can understand how to go both ways and you can understand I can see clearly now I can see always what I need to do I understand Dr. Wayne Dyer says I can see clearly now <laughs> I can see clearly much more better than Dr. Wayne Dyer <laughs> I promise you all that I have, I have it on Dr. Wayne Dyer here <laughs> I have it on him right here <laughs> I, re I realize all that guess what I realize I love Dr. Wayne Dyer I always use his words. I can see clearly now. But guess what? I realize I've learned a lot from him. I mean, Sam, I mean, every single day, I, I'm, I'm always learning from Dr. Wayne Dyer. I'm always a student of the game, yeah? I'm learning much more. I realize Dr. Wayne Dyer is saying, if I had your opportunity, or if I had your opportunity, man, I understand, man. I realize all that. Everybody's going for a different life, man. I promise you, you must understand that I'm just fortunate. I'm just fortunate enough to speak my words much more than everybody else. I promise you. Unfortunately, I promise you. And I spoke this out. I spoke it. Rush, although Jesus Christ shows everybody and shows Dr. Wayne Dyer and everybody that, hey, I mean, you can do it in Jesus Christ times. <laughs> I mean, you can do it in Jesus Christ times. I mean, Jesus Christ understands it. I mean, I mean Jesus Christ showing everybody you can do it back in those times, man. You get your 12 disciples and just go around the world speaking the word of God and everything, man. And that's the internet back then. <laughs> I mean, you can, I mean, there's no excuses, man. I mean, there's, no, <laughs> there's no excuses around here, man. I mean, I'm just using technology much better than other people, and that's it. I mean, you're saying, but that's, I mean, I mean, it's just smart, yeah? I mean, you just have to do something great. <clears throat> but you have to understand that what's important is understand that images stay forever. But the images you create for yourself is the words you create for yourself. So, every single day, Daniel Milovojevic is crafting more words. And as Danny Milovoyevich is crafting more words, 
Danny Milivojevic hits a pot of gold of Jesus Christ. And Danny Milivojevic keeps digging into Jesus Christ knowledge, which is all knowledge. And Danny Milivojevic is always talking and talking on the audio camera or any kind of video camera or mobile phone so that Danny Milivojevic can fucking be heard for generations. And as Danny Milivojevic goes through life, then Danny Milivojevic gives a story about Danny Milivojevic. And as Danny Milivojevic talks in third party person, then Danny Milivojevic understands that I'm always first in my life. I understand that Danny Milivojevic goes throughout life making sure that everybody understands how to communicate words because Danny Milivojevic is the words on the way. Because Danny Milivojevic is the words every single day, then Danny Milivojevic goes around the world teaching people how to speak words like Jesus Christ speaks words. Whereas now Danny Milivojevic shows people here that the words are the way. And as Danny Milivojevic goes with Jesus Christ to speak the words, then that's the mission of everybody. I mean, Jesus Christ understands straight away, you must understand that no matter what, I get much more of an applause here. Because you must understand that as Danny Milivojevic goes much greater toward everything about life, then Danny Milivojevic is the way of words. I mean, understand? But Danny Milivojevic is also the way. I mean, understand? And the way of Danny Milivojevic is the way of the word I. I realize, although, that if you follow Danny Milivojevic because he is the way of Russia, then you become like Danny Milivojevic. Do you understand? But Danny, I realize, but Danny Milivojevic follows Jesus Christ. So Danny Milivojevic is linking you information that if you follow Danny Milivojevic because he is, or if you follow Danny Milivojevic because he is the way, then you also follow Jesus Christ. Because Danny Milivojevic, I realize, because Danny Milivojevic follows Jesus Christ. I mean, you understand? I realize if you follow Danny Milivojevic habits every single day, then you follow Jesus Christ habits. So Danny Milivojevic is bringing Jesus Christ habits to you. I realize now Danny Milivojevic is a messenger of God. I mean, you understand? I realize now Danny Milivojevic is somebody who just helps himself to every single day speak words to people. Because why? I understand because Danny Milivojevic says that words are the way. I mean, if you understand how to speak words with Danny Milivojevic, then you understand also how to speak it with anybody and Jesus Christ. I realize every single day, Danny Milivojevic is always looking to do audio programs every fucking second of every single day, of every one second of every single day. Because Danny Milivojevic realizes that the more Danny Milivojevic speaks words, the more of a pathway and the more of a creation and the more of a life he has in Jesus Christ and in the world, and also has freedom, and he's also getting smarter in words and public speaking, and also in his communication. Because you can see how great Danny Mil i mean, you can see how great Danny Milivojevic is speaking his words right now. And then you can understand that as Danny Milivojevic speaks more words, he crafts much more wording and sentences, and together everything happens for a reason. And then, or as and then he goes and gives much more reasons toward everything that's helping his life succeed in terms of to succeed in different ways, to have a greater mindset. And then as he speaks better and better and better throughout time, he's always constantly looking for ideas to help other people. Because when he's helping other people, then he's figuring out a better way for you to help your ideas and to grow your ideas in Danny Milivojevic's name. I mean, you understand? I realize although that when you follow the words of Danny Milivojevic, then you follow the words of Jesus Christ. Or else when you understand how Danny Milivojevic lives life with his habits, then you understand Jesus Christ also. Or else now every single day just Danny Milivojevic just teaches himself all the time to speak more words, because that is the way, once again. And the more you speak words, the more you begin with the end in mind. Just like Stephen R. Covey says in his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which are all words, is the highest effective way to speak everything. I mean, sense, so if you see every single book in the planet, then you understand every single book is talking about words. I you, what is the first chapter of the book? I mean, what do you see in the story there? I you, words straight away. I mean, what's in an audio book? I mean, what's the first word in the audio book? I you, it's a word. I you, it's a word. I you, but the word is which word? I you, the word is I. I you, the word is I. I is the most important word. I realize although that when you open up an ebook or when you open up the information of a laptop or description somewhere or if you go looking behind the information of images, I mean what's behind an image? 
or it's a word or if you see a portable speaker and an image of a portable speaker I mean what kind of label do you put it as or it's a portable speaker yeah or if that image is a portable speaker or if you see a heater and you see a picture of a heater then the word of that is what I mean it's a heater or she yeah or she now if you see Danny Milvojevic image I mean what word is that or she it's the word I or she everything is the word I or she now if you see the laptop or if you see God or Jesus Christ or anything in life and if you see a bottle or if you see your mom or dad or those names that you understand then everything is the word I I understand Daniel I understand Danny Milovovich is teaching you that Jesus says never cut the word I out so what you need to realize every single day is go and learn that everything in terms of words and images that you see is the word I and that way you grow into a peaceful individual because you have to understand the word I is everything I mean they're saying because the word I is the word and you can never cut the word I out I mean, you can never cut the word I out because it's information man I mean, you can never cut the word I out. I mean, the word I is part of you. I mean, the word I is something that you have to use all the time. So, Danny Milovojevic uses the word I more than any other word. I mean, understand? Because all, or else, the word I is the gold mine that Zig Ziglar is saying that if you just keep digging for the water, man, or if you find the word I, or you have everything. You understand? Or the word I, I mean, as soon as you go fucking deeply into the I and just fucking use the word I as much as you can. I promise you, fucking just dig into it and fucking use the word I as much as you can. I promise you. I promise you, from that point, you are fucking powerful because the word I is now in your language. I mean, saying, I mean, now it's your fucking vocabulary. I mean, now it's your fucking weapon. I promise you. I promise you, that fucking weapon of the word I is something you need to use. I promise you, when you use the word I so much, I promise you, you dwell upon it and plan. I mean, plan around the word I. I mean, plan around everything around the word I and speak it every single day in every single sentence. And then you fucking have life, I promise you.